Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our day number 26. Day number 26. Let's see what we have for today. We are told that this guy by the name of Sam is now 15 years older than Tom. That's the first sentence. We have two people, Sam and Tom, or if you like, Albert and Bill, A and B, get it? A, B, S, T. In five years time, in five years time, Sam will be three times as old as Tom. Sentence number two. The question simply is how old will Sam be? in 20 years. That's all. Give me one second here. That's all there is. So here we have two people, Sam and Tom. Let's call them S and T. We're going to use letter S to represent Sam's age. We're going to represent Tom's age with T. T means Tom's age today. S means Sam's age today. Since we have two unknown, because if we know their today's age, if we know how old Sam and Tom are today, we can answer this question very easily. So that's what we have to find out. How old is Sam right now? How old is Tom right, Tom right now? If we know one or the other, we can, we can answer the question. Those are the two unknowns. And since we have two unknowns, we have to have two independent equations. Where are the two independent, independent equations going to come from? Well, as I've explained to you before in my previous videos, an equation is a mathematical term for a sentence. In languages, we have sentences. We speak sentences. Mathematicians also speak sentences, but sentences are called equations. An equation is a sentence. Just like a sentence is made up of words, an equation is made up of ingredients. There are. I'm, 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 I'm digressing big time here. Three x squared plus seven y. That's all. Three x squared plus seven y. Is that an equation? No. It is an expression. An expression. An equation has to have an equal sign. It. This is an equation. This is an equation. And what I was trying to explain to you before is that just like sentences are made up of ingredients, sentences, sentences in any language, a sentence is made up of words and words are made up of letters. Same exact thing applies in mathematics. An equation is a sentence which is made up of terms. 
these are called terms. A term itself, which is like a word, and just, just like word is made up of letters, similarly, a term is made up of three components. But not always, but here we have three components. This is called the coefficient. Coefficient. This is called the variable. It's called variable because the value of this thing will value of this thing varies. It changes. It's unknown. And finally we have an exponent. Exponent. There you go. Now we have dissected my entire sentence into its building blocks, into its ingredients. Coefficient, variable, exponents, making a term. One term plus another term gives you an expression. If you have an expression which equals to something, it is a sentence. You understand? Where was I going with this thing? How does it start? So here we have to come up with two sentences. We have to come up with two equations. My question, oh, there, I remember it now. My question was where we need two equations because we have two unknowns, S and T. To solve for S and T, to ascertain the value of S and T, we need two equations. Where are the two equations going to come from? They're going to come from the two sentences that we have right here, here and here. We just have to translate this sentence into mathematical language. We just have to translate this language into mathematical language. The rest is downhill. Coming up with the equation is the biggest hurdle most people have. I shouldn't say coming up with an equation. Coming up with the right equation is the biggest hurdle that most people have. Coming up with an equation, that's not the hurdle they have. I've seen people come up with some insane equations from simple statements. And one wonders what was going through their mind. So what's the first sentence? Right here. That's not our first sentence. Lost it. There's our first sentence. Sam is now 15 years older than Tom. We are using S to represent same age today. Same is now. This is now. And that's S. Same is, same is now, 15 years older than Tom. Whatever Tom is, this is the Tom's age. Same age, same age is 15 more than that. There we go. Same is now, 15 years older than Tom. Whatever Tom's age is, if you add 15 more to it, 15 more years to it, you get same age today. That's our first equation. Let's look at the second equation. I'm going to change the color. Do not ask me why. And if you must know why, that's because, as I've explained to you several times, that's because we have the flair for the dramatics. There we go. In five years time, well, in five years time. How do I represent in five years time? Well, in five years time means whatever same age is today, whatever same age is today, in five years it's going to be S plus five. In other words, if it's 80 years old today, in five years time it's going to be 80 plus five. If it's three years old today, in five years time it's going to be three plus five. You get the idea. This represents same age in five years time. in five years time, same age. And we are told that at that point, when he is, whatever he is today, plus five, when he reaches that age, he is going to be, he is going to be three times as old as Tom. Well, how old is Tom going to be in five years time? Well, Tom today is T. But if he's T years old today, in five years period, it's gonna be five more than today. And if you were to take three times that amount, if you were to take three times that amount, that is the age of Sam in five years' time. Get it? That's it. The rest is downhill. The rest is very simple. Straightforward. Coming up with the right equation is the most important part. And don't try to do it in a hurry. And don't try to read the whole thing in one shot. You must digest it. You must understand it. You must appreciate what's going on in it. Do you understand? Pay attention and slow down. 
One more time I'm going to explain to you, okay? And this time I'm going to explain to you without looking at these two sentences to show it to you that I'm reading two sentences. The first sentence tells me that same today, same today is, how do I know this is today? Because that's what S stands for. S stands for same day today. And where did this come from? Oh, it fell from the sky. We just created a symbol of our own to make our life simpler. We could have called them X and Y. We could have called Sam's age X and Tom's age Y. We could have done that. There is no law against it. But that would have been awkward. That would have been cumbersome. That would have been annoying. That would have been irritating. That would have been hellish. Why? Because then I would have to remember who is X and who is Y. I would have to remember that X represents Sam's age today and Y represents Tom's age today. Why the hell should we go through that trouble? Just call them S and T so it's easy to remember. S must be Sam's age today. T must be Tom's age today. If that's the case, what, what we are told is that Sam's age today is 15 years more than Tom's age. 15 years more than Tom's age. That's how I said it. Let's see how this says here. It says Sam is now 15 years older than Tom. There you go. This tells me that if we take to if this tells me that five years from now, whatever the same is today, five years from now will be five more years, S plus five. Five years from now, his age, Sam's age, is going to be whatever the Tom's age is going to be five years from now, times three. Let's see what the sentence says here. In five years' time, Sam will be three times as old as Tom. Just like what I said, except I said it in a very awkward way. Sam's age five years from now is going to be three times the age of Tom five years from now. That's what this says. That's all. All we have to do is solve for the variables. Let's continue then. Let's open this parenthesis. Three times three is three T. Three times five is fifteen. S plus five equals. Now, what is what is the question asking? How old is Sam going to be? This should have been Sam. S A M, not S A M E. How old is Sam in twenty years' time? So we need to solve for S. So let's figure out. Let's let's uh, let's uh, let's take this equation here. Let's take this equation here. Let me do it in a different marker so we can keep the two equations separate. Let's take this first equation here. S equals T plus 15, which means T must equal S minus 15. T must equal S minus 15. Let's put it in, let's, let's put this value of T in here. Three times t, which is s minus fifteen plus fifteen. This this fifteen is this one. Open the parentheses one more time. So this three s, and then three times fifteen is negative forty-five plus fifteen. We got an s here, and we got an s there. S plus five. The rest you can do it yourself. I don't have to explain every single step. I'm not going to explain every single step and I'm going to take a lot of shortcuts and I'm going to make a lot of jumps. You can do it step by step, however many steps it takes you, it doesn't matter. Just solve for S. So I have 2S here, I have an S here, bring this S up, subtract S from both sides, so we get 2S equals, so, and then this 45 is going to come here, becomes positive 45, and then we have this 5 and then negative 5. 50 minus 15 is 35, looks like same is 17 and a half years old. 17 and a half years old. Now we're going to verify. What can we verify? Let's verify here. Seventeen and a half years. The question simply was how old will Sam be in 20 years' time? In 20 years' time, Sam is going to be, if he's 17 and a half years today, in 20 years' time it's going to be 37 and a half years, that's all. But let's verify this thing. There is Sam. There is Tom. 17 and a half. If he's 17 and a half, we know that Tom is, Tom is 17 and a half minus 15. Which is 2S. 
two and a half. Now we're going to verify the time, the verification is coming up. The second sentence tells us that in five years' time, well, in five years' time, it's going to be 22 and a half. In five years' time, this guy is going to be 7 and a half. And we are told that in five years' time, Sam is going to be three times Tom. It's going to be three times this guy. Et voilà. Three times 7 and a half is 22 and a half. How do we know that? Because 3 times 7 is 21, plus 3 times half will give you another 1.5, hence making it 22.5. So 22.5 is in fact 3 times 7.5. Everything fits, we are fine. And the answer to the question, how old, how old will Sam be in 20 years time? How old will Sam be? In 20 years time, the answer is, today he's 17 and a half, so in 20 years time he's going to be 20 more, he's going to be 37 and a half years old in 20 years time. That was it, we are done. That was fun, wasn't it? Gets your gray, meter, gray matter going, Gets me exercises your brain. Practice every day, a little bit math. Make a habit of it, spending 10, 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever it is, doing a couple of math problems here and there, and you will, you will improve your math skill. So, if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor obviously for math, for statistics, for algebra, geometry, or if you're preparing for GRE, GMAT, SAT, or TOEFL, I do prep courses for those tests as well. Just go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can simply go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright? Thanks.